Hello Red Devils, I'm Yus Lidenia and I'm back in the video. So Manchester United drew 0-0 to Wolves in the FA Cup and um, it was kind of a you know a boring performance. We had zero shots on target the whole match which is very disappointing. Uh, we need to work on our shooting obviously we need to be more clinical. Uh, but next match is against Manchester City and this will obviously be a difficult match because Man City they will want to you know seek revenge on the defeat against us at Etihad. We beat them 2-1 in the Premier League and uh, you know they want to obviously exact revenge on us so it will be a difficult match they're going to be fired up but we need to also be fired up like we were in the first match at the Etihad and we need to make sure that we get a good result in the first leg against Manchester City so anyway this is my predicted lineup so a couple of players you know some of them are ill and some of them are injured for example Mahari Maguire I'm not sure if he will be ready or not well, Solskjaer said that he's going to wait and see, but at the moment it's looking unlikely that Maguire will be able to play. Uh, same goes with Anthony Martial, Jesse Lingard, uh, Scott McTominay and, there's, and Luke Shaw. So there's a lot of players that are ifs and buts. So based on that, I'm going to exclude them players because you know they might come in or they might not. And I'm going to you know make a predicted lineup video on the players that are right now available. So this is the my predicted lineup to face Manchester City. So let's get straight into it. So I think Sergio Romero deserves to start again. He played fantastic against Wolves. He made two very good saves. And then he made you know a couple of normal saves. So Sergio Romero, he is a good goalkeeper. We need to you know obviously provide competition for David De Gea. And I would start Sergio Romero personally because David De Gea, he's been making too many mistakes recently. So Sergio Romero in goal. Now I will continue with Brandon Williams left back. I thought he played a very good game against Wolves. He kept Triore quiet which is very hard to do. So Brandon Williams credit to him. I'm going to start him alongside Tuan Zebe and Lindelof. And then obviously right back Aaron Wan-Bissaka. So obviously Maguire as I've said before he might not make this match. So I would like to see Tuan Zebe given a start instead of Phil Jones. Um, you know if Phil Jones starts against Man City then there's only going to be one outcome. That's going to be a Manchester City victory. So I want to see Tuan Zebe play. Give him a start alongside Lindelof and let's see how they play together. Now the midfield I want to go with. Fred was given a rest against Wolves so I think he'll come back in for the Man City match. So Fred alongside Nemanja Matic who has looked very good in my opinion when he's coming back into the team. You know he's passing. He's been very good at dribbling as well in terms of final third opposition dribbling. He's been really good so you know play Matic. They make the team a bit more solid and a bit more defensive obviously against Man City you have to be. And then centre attack in mid, I would like to see Andres Pereira given a chance. I don't think Angel Gomez will play for us. I'm not sure why, um, but Ole doesn't seem to want to play him. It's regarding the contract issues, um, but I would play him if I was manager. But Solskjaer doesn't seem to like Angel Gomez, so I would obviously bring in Andres Pereira as Jesse Lingard is apparently unavailable. So Andres Pereira in the number ten position, which is Pereira's best position in my opinion. And then the front three: Marcus Rashford left wing. Daniel James right wing and Mason Greenwood up front. So Anthony Martial apparently is ill and uh, Oli said he might not be able to make this match. So I've just gone ahead and put Mason Greenwood in the striker's position and Daniel James obviously right winger. So this front three is very good for counter-attacking football. We should be able to cause Man City some issues. But as I've said before, Man City, they're going to be fired up. And you know when they play at the optimum best, they can demolish any team. So we need to be careful. Um, hopefully you know, we get a good result but I'm not very confident going into this match because our form recently hasn't been that great but anyway this is the team I would like to see play against Manchester City so Sergio Romero, Williams, Twanzebe, Lindelof, Wambisaka Fred, Matic, Andres Pereira, Marcus Rashford, Daniel James and Mason Greenwood so anyways it's been MUS Religion please like, subscribe and I'll see you guys later